Hotep. This is um, Radiant Tara on uh, Martha's Vineyard. Hotep. How are you doing? Hi. How are you doing? Good, good. This is a great topic. Uh, it kind of started last week. Um, so yes. I wanted to add in a few of my other two cents. Um, I'm not going to, you know, bash any black own businesses because we know there are plenty of bad ones out there. Um, but there are lots mm -hmm. of great ones out there as well. I find because right now where I'm located, I do a lot of business on the Internet. And so I try to work with as many black owned businesses on the net as I can. And they're really, really great. I mean, there's some bad ones, but a lot of times you get really fast turnaround. Um, you know, you get your products in three days. You order on a Sunday night and, you know, they're they're right. to you by Wednesday. So there are some really great businesses. Um, online and also, you know, brick and mortar businesses. What I find to be some of the problems um, that a lot of black owned businesses, people who want to start, you know, businesses and they happen to be black, um, is sometimes they lack a business culture. Maybe they didn't go to business school or they didn't kind of maybe have their original job experience to start in a corporate structure where they receive specific training on customer service and, you know, timelines, deadlines, things of that nature. So I think that some of that is sometimes the problem. Also, having another job that they're trying to work, you know, trying to juggle family, things like that, um, are some of the problems that just seem to be. I know when I, you know, probably when I see the most amount of black-owned businesses is when I go to vending shows, you know, trade shows, mm -hmm. small trade shows, fairs, things like that. Um, I see people with um, no business card. They'll have little flyers, you know, printed on regular paper, done in one color, black ink, you know, something right. they did last night at, you know, Kinko's or, you know, just some print shop. Um, not, you know, just lacking presentation, some of the fi the finishing touches often. Um, so what I wanted to do is give a list of, unfortunately I couldn't find any black-owned um, sources where they could kind of, outsource some things, but I, I think a lot of people still aren't really internet savvy, like they don't know where to get resources on the cheap, um, you know, just they don't know where to get business cards from, I and mean, business cards are pretty cheap, they're very easy, um, right. postcards, I mean, just some things that are just lacking that can really make your business look a lot better than I do see, in particular when I'm seeing the vendors and those kinds of things where, you know, um, so I wanted to just give a list of some of the, the businesses that I've done business with that I know, you know, turn around very quickly. Unfortunately, like I said, they're not black owned, so don't shoot me. Um, but they will help you have a better looking business. Um, from print work, I mean, you can get full color printing these days. Cheapest one I get on a daily basis almost, free ads for some kind of discount, if not free, um, is Vista Print. Probably for, I don't oh, yeah. know, maximum ten dollars you can get yourself a yeah. round of you know 250 to 500 business cards and sometimes you can get them for free but they might charge you an extra seven or ten bucks if for the premium you know deal very very good i mean definitely it's a way to I've start used them. yeah i've once used you them before use them um also your postcards they do postcards i mean full color you know art worthy postcards. I've seen artists, you know, who need to have a nice little gallery showing or, you know, something really quick. I mean, you'll get their stuff in like a week. Um, and it's something that you won't be ashamed to have, you know, full color. Um, one other big thing that I find, you know, with the returning of the phone calls, some of those things that will really make you seem more professional if you do have a full-time job, um, I believe in like virtual assistants. And um, that's, it's not an old concept. I mean, people have always had, you know, administrative assistance. But virtual assistance for a small business owner is, like, really, really key um, and very important. And they don't cost a fortune. Some of them right. will be very expensive. But I've worked with companies that range from about $7 an hour to up to $30 an hour. Once I worked right. with someone who was $40 an hour and she was no more worth you know, her 40 than the person who was in the $15 an hour range. Um, and so I have two companies that I recommend that I've worked with, and they are really, really great. One is called GetFriday.com, and they're in that, just depending on how many minutes, how many hours you will commit to them, they can be as cheap as like 7 bucks an hour up to, I think, about $15 an hour. And you, you can outsource anything, like those return calls, um, just 
research, maybe you don't have time to do research on how to increase your business, um, they can do just about anything. They can also take care of a lot of your family stuff that maybe would be better if you paid somebody a couple of bucks an hour to do those, you know, family things like making phone calls, looking for, you know, different things. They they can take care of that stuff for you. And then there's That's another get one. Friday. Get Friday, GetFriday.com. Mm -hmm, like a girl Friday, GetFriday.com. And then there's okay. another one that's a little more. Now, Get Friday is out of the is out of the country. They're in Mumbai. Um, right. Very good. So with Get Friday, I would outsource like um, data related stuff. So I wouldn't have them call my clients because I don't want someone talking to someone who has you know a, a big accent. But as far as like you know doing my PowerPoint presentations, um, you know things I might need for sales calls, things of that nature outsource to them for seven, eight, ten dollars an hour. Those people they work really fast and you can look like a million bucks with their help. And then for a US based um, virtual assistant company and they're in the twenty dollar an hour range, longerdays.com. They're out of Charleston, South Carolina. Longer and, um, Longer Days. L O N G E R Gaze G A Z. Days. No, nope, like day, daytime days. D A Y. Oh, that longer days. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that's your American, you know, point person. They no accents. Um, they're stateside, and they can do anything, anything, anything under the sun. Just your imagination is your your only limitation on what you outsource to a virtual assistant. And you can spend. You might only be spending twenty, thirty dollars a month. I mean, it, it, you don't have to have these big contracts. Um, so, you know, you might only be, I think with Get Friday, sometimes I might only spend like $20, $25 to operate my business and to deal with, you know, hundreds of clients. So I highly recommend those two um, companies for outsourcing and just ha helping maximize your time. And then two other companies um, that I recommend is Guru.com and Elance.com. And they also will help, you can, like if you have, for websites, if you need an inexpensive web, website built, before you try and deal with, you know, some relative who might can put up a page for you, but it's going to look crazy because you don't have a good eye yourself, um, those two companies, you go on and you can, it's kind of like a, sort of like a bidding, like you put what you need. And it can be anything from websites, um, you can... You can outsource an article. Let's say you want to you want to write an article, but you don't have the words in you to write a good article. You can actually give them an I some one of those persons. I mean, they have writers online. They have um, people who write press releases. Every business needs a press release, so you can tell them a little bit about yourself and a writer for maybe twenty bucks, maybe fifteen. They might be in America, but they also could be in Canada, and twenty dollars might be just what they need right then. They can kick out an article for you in a couple of days, sometimes right away for a few extra dollars. So those two companies, every imaginable service that someone needs, whether it's um, website building, um, same kind of outsourcing, same thing. I mean, a lot of these are virtual assistants, so it's sort of mm -hmm. same thing you can have a virtual assistant do. But the sky's the limit. People all over the world, including America, are just sitting at home needing work. And um, I think it's just a really great way for business, black-owned businesses to tap into being able to do more business, figure out how to do things a little smarter, you know, not have to do it themselves, you know. I mean, instead of blowing our money on a lot of stupid stuff, spend 50 extra dollars a month to build our businesses in a, in a really smart, sound way so that we can present better than we have been presenting because there are a lot of good black businesses out there.